Hi, thanks for joining us today. My name is Bill Martin. I'm with Motorsports Center in Salt Lake. We're going to take a look at uh, a truly built for the West travel trailer. Our Keystone hideout uh, is built actually in Oregon, designed for our mountain country. Keystone has a plant also in Indiana where they build trailers a little bit different for east of the Mississippi, different type of camping. They tend more to plug into power, not need as much water. Uh, whereas our Western trailers, we have 60 gallons of fresh water in virtually every hideout made. Uh, in this particular unit, we have the Coal Mountain package, which is fully enclosed, insulated, heated. Your dump bells are enclosed. So inclement weather in March or late season October hunting, this trailer will perform and, and do a great job at an incredible price point. This is the 24 BHS. Uh, that's a bunkhouse with a slide. It's actually the smallest one made with a slide and will still sleep six to 10 people. Uh, it's 28 feet, five inches from overall length, weighs 5,724 pounds. So it's great half ton towable. At a price point that's really budget conscious, I still have the full size awning, it comes out eight feet, LED light awning strip, also inside LED light package on every hideout. As, you, as we walk around the coach begin, uh, underneath your front queen walk around bed, you've got full pasture storage. I do have LED light pack inside so I can light up. Great place for extra gear, uh, lawn chairs, camp chefs, Dutch ovens, it's a great place for it. Jacks all four corners, also in the front of every hideout. Uh, we have a power tongue jack, also lighted, easy up and off the trailer, nothing like setting up a unit and having up and down your trailer quick. The big seven gallon, 30 pound propane tanks will keep you out there for a whole year. And the unit will come uh, with two deep cycle batteries. Also diamond plate on the front, protect your investment from flying rock chips. So power tongue jack, the larger tanks, larger water tanks, except built and designed for the West. We'll take a walk around this way. I've got really good ground clearance already. All, and this is a Equiflex suspension, so it's actually rubberized and helps. But I've actually got the axles on top of the springs already. So I, I get really good ground clearance, mountain country, a little bit of dips, going through dips in the pavement. And that's one of the reasons for the triple step entry we need too. As we go around, I do have the outdoor kitchen here. A great feature for cooking outside. The grease, the mess stays outside. Good place for cooking the eggs in the morning. They'll sink to wash up. And then I do have an outdoor fridge, which would mean the drinks, etc., can all stay out here. I don't have to worry about running inside the trailer. If you prefer to use your camp shift, there is a propane line already hooked down below here. You can get an adapter. You can actually set your camp shift up under the awning so you can have uh, this for you know your eggs and stuff. Use your camp shift for potatoes and stuff. It's a great way to cook. Do all your cooking outside as much as you can. Keep the inside nice and clear. As you go around the back of the hideout, even this price point, we still have a full walk-on roof. The roof is radius, which means that I'm able to take the ducting for the AC inside and run it through the trusses. A lot of trailers that have a flat roof, they will not hold the snow loads that we have here out west. You also, you're gonna have weak spots up where you have cutouts for the AC and stuff. So I've got an outdoor shower, hot and cold running water. I've also got backup camera prep already for all of my hideouts. Uh, it does not come with the backup camera, but it's ready to go. You can install it easy in your trailer. I've got 30 amp service here, which will put you in pretty much any KOA, Wasatch Mountain State Park, any of your national parks will have that type of service. If you only have a park with 50 amp, there are adapters for that, but 30 amp works for all the current systems. You do have on all the hideouts too, I've got black water flush. Unlike the trailer that we have, where I've, I've got to kind of take the hose in, hand it to the wife, have her run it down the toilet, run it, flush the toilet, run it in through the window. You merely put a hose on here, high pressure spray flushes out your black tank. It makes takedown, getting home, easier to breeze. Great setup. Your slide out is all automatic. Uh, it does run off the 12 volt system. If you're putting in power, of course, it'll work too. Uh, if for some reason uh, you happen to have an, an issue with it, bring an extra fuse with you on any slide out. That's the number one issue you have with slide outs. Uh, there is also a way that if the motor happens to go out, which is highly unlikely, you can actually ratchet it in. Your water fill, fresh water, hookups here, jacks. And other than that, we're gonna walk around and we are gonna go ahead and take a walk into the trailer now. Like I said, triple entry step, easy in and out for mom and dad. Exterior grab handle, nice secure. 
The nicest thing about the 24 BHS is as you walk in, it opens up, it's very inviting to you. I do get the large U-shaped dinette. I'm easy to sit six people here for dinner. If I only want two, I can actually turn the table this way, make it easier in and out, more suitable. I also have the flexibility of an indoor, outdoor table. So I could actually set this outside, put my food on there, buffet table, whatever. But this turned into a bed too. And if I need to, I can sleep another two adults here. Uh, obviously, I mean, I do have full-size double beds in the back. Uh, the teddy bear, nice soft mattresses. Up above your outdoor kitchen, I do have storage underneath here. But two, four, six, eight people easily in a small, very manageable half-ton towable vehicle. It's great. In addition to 60 gallons of water, the Hideout 24BH features an oversized bathroom. If they're children, which is obviously this unit's designed for, it gives you plenty of room for privacy to change clothes, be it swim trunks, uh, taking a shower, changing. You've got privacy back there. In the slide out also, in addition to the U-shaped dinette, I do have a very nice closet that can either be used as a pantry or there's actually a hanging rod up there. So I can actually put food in there as well as hang clothes too. Storage, storage, storage. Of course, your fridge, six cubic foot, stainless steel microwave, stainless steel three burner stove with oven. And then every hideout comes with a central vac. Uh, there, in here, there's a bag of hoses. That is 110, so you, you gotta be plugged in power for it to work, but it's great if you get home, merely get your hose, hook it in, boom, boom, boom. You don't need to lug a vacuum cleaner in and out. Another feature of the hideout is we do have, most of the hideouts do come with the TV and DVD player already built into them. This particular unit will swing around to the bedroom. You could watch TV in the bedroom or you can watch it out here with the family. Uh, that's kind of a neat feature. As you walk into the bedroom and I have you go up that side, I do have my queen size bed. I do have his and hers closets on each side. Plenty of storage in here for hanging clothes in addition to the extra unit out there. And as with most walk around queen beds, I do get the great storage here. So unfortunately the TV box is in there now, but great storage for suitcases, uh, extra gear. And if you're gonna use that dinette for bedding uh, or sleeping, that will hold your bedding too. All my hideouts, I've got outlets on each side of the bed. I've also got USB charging ports. And one thing is you walk in the door of all the hideouts too, all my controls are in a very manageable place. My gas, electric water heater, all my monitor panels, my slide out buttons and awning. Uh, this is a, once again a great size unit for the mountains. Uh, price point wise, very much in budget. And for this one and take a look at all the whole lineup of hideouts, please come down and take a look. Thank you.